the Joe Rogan experience. The stuff in the sea, very alien-like. Yeah, yeah. I agree. You know, they, they did some study recently where they showed that jellyfish, despite not having a brain, they seem to be able to learn. Now they're, go- now they're trying to figure out well, how are they learn it. I know how they learn. How? Vibes. Vibes, man. They feel the vibes. They feel the vibes. Feel yeah, the vibes. You don't have to have live, a brain to feel the vibes. Well, if we live in a <laughs> vibrational universe where everything is frequency, it would make sense. They feel the vibes. They're vibing out down there. They just go with what the flow is. They're very, uh, they're very jelly-like. They just go with whatever the energy mm. is doing already. That's why is it seems theory? like they know. You guys seem like you, you came up with this theory together and you discussed this. Before. Oh, well, I just thought of it right now and Sarah came on board with me and I feel like we're on <laughs> yeah, to something. Yeah, we're Are on we to not something? on to something? Well, no, I think we I live think in a vibe. vibes thing. I think yeah. we live in a vibrational universe and that things enter our experience based on the things that we think and the world that we create. Yeah. And so when you, I just like, think if the fish are flowing this way, the jelly is going to go this way too. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems like they know what they're doing, but they're just kind of going with whatever is happening also, around them. Some of them are poisonous as fuck, like the box jellyfish, people. which means they know they need to be poisonous. Yeah, so, which means they're aware that there's danger. So they're, they're aware. sentient in some way. Yeah, they yeah, have they're no like, brains, but they're aware. Fuck with me. I know a lot of people like that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, especially if you think about where box jellyfish live. They're Australia, right? Australia has great white sharks everywhere. Uh, Australia has those little cute um, octopi that, is it octopus? Pie? I think it's octopi. Octopi that are the little blue ringed ones that look like you can pick them up, but they'll kill you. Oh, They're really? like the most dangerous one in the world. It's not octopussies. That would be a James Bond movie. <laughs> <laughs> Octopuses, the blue ringed octopus. Yeah, it's like very cute and small, and they have videos of pe- that one. That'll kill you. Yeah, that'll kill you. How come that guy has it on his? It's hand? like one of the most de- the most deadly octopus. Wow. It yeah. looks and, sick. and people pick God them up damn, all the time beautiful. because they're beautiful. I want that in a jacket. And <laughs> yeah. So what, what does it have? A stinger? Like uh, it bites. It. I think. It doing? If I remember and it has correctly. has a toxin or some shit? I think it bites. It's nicknamed bro. It says blue ring octopus. Nickname bro. That it only sense. attacks humans when it feels in danger. If you're trying to corner Th- a blue ring octopus, it might become <laughs> aggressive and attack. So it has two types of toxins Could for be. hunting and the other for self-defense. It, 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 a blue ringed octopus ejects tetrodoxin, a harmful toxin that could paralyze and kill a human adult in mere minutes. It's 1,200 times more toxic than cyanide. cyanide. It's crazy. That's wild. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. There's no known antidote. Nope. It's the same kind of toxin that pufferfish have. It can kill 26 full adults with one bite. Oh my God. It's fentanyl. God. It can kill 26 full adults in one bite. Yeah. (gasps) That is so crazy. That is so insane. It is insane, right? And there's videos of people that pick it up that go viral because they don't know better, so they're playing with it oh in the my ocean. God. And it's like, oh God. And thank God. I mean, I think that I think they've also they had a Netflix thing about how octopi are like really smart and they like have the average uh, yeah. brain of like a five year old child or something. So maybe some mm. of them are aware and don't want to kill people when they get picked up, but. Well, they figured out how to open up mason jars. Oh yeah, Whoa. they can. They can yeah. unlock doors. They can. Mm-hmm. They. I think they said that That's they can cute. memorize yeah, they shit. The they can memorize yeah. shit and how it works. Well, They're they smart. think this. They had this tank that was set up next to another tank. So the one tank had octopus in it, and the other tank across the room had fish in it. Mm-hmm. And fish started missing. Yeah. And so they set up a camera, and they found out what was going on was the octopus was climbing out of his tank. Walking across the floor, <laughs> climbing up into the other tank, jacking a fish, eating it, and then going back into his tank. The comedian in me imagined it jacking off a fish and then eating it. But, <laughs> but for okay. some reason, for some reason, when I was imagining it, the octopus was wearing sunglasses in the whole story. <laughs> <Very Dun-dun-dun. laughs> yeah. The Pink Panther song. Like, <laughs> <Dun-dun-dun>. <laughs> uh, I mean, funny. how insane is that? That the thing figured out that it could get out and walk. In a place where it can't breathe. Well, they can fit through anything that their eyes can fit through. That's crazy. No matter how big they are. I think. Also. Don't quote me on that. (laughs) But how would it... How would it know that it could get out and climb? I mean, what... Joe, you want to hear the answer? Yeah, the vibes. Vibes. <laughs> vibes. It just knows. Vibes, it just man. knows. The same way. The same way. The f- the everyone knows everything. Mm. Vibes. Vibes. You felt Frequency. it out one day. You were like, "This feels right." Intuition. How would two humans, the first two humans, know to have sex 
They were mm. just like, this feels like we should do that. Right. Well, but it was way before humans, right? How did, Animals. How did the first living organism that was multicellular figure out how to mate? A little, it's just a little, an innate thing. A little horny cell. Right. A little <laughs> horny cell. A little horny cell. So what is this octopus doing? Oh, big oh. octopus versus small holes. They keep, they keep this is a porn <laughs> hub. This is a porn hub category. This is hentai. I'm watching a hentai. I'm sorry, guys. Tentacle porn. Is there a little pent up energy in this room? What's happening? Big octopus small hole is disgusting. So that little hole in the plexiglass, it's going to go through that little hole. Oh, yeah. And Look it could definitely this. fit because his How? eyeballs are like a fist. I think it actually might. It did four other ones before I got to this video. I think so this is the one that off. might stuck. Yeah, I think it backs off. It realizes it's stuck. This is a fucking alien. I'm sorry. They are aliens. How is that not an alien? They really are aliens. They're just aliens that live under the ocean. Yeah. And do you know the, the, the myth of the Kraken? The Kraken was an enormous octopus that would take out ships. No. The, yeah. It was always like one of those uh, I've ancient heard of him. myths of a, a sea beast. Yeah, they have paintings ships. with like the octopus tentacles yeah. touching the ships well, and stuff. One day, oh, shit. One day they found uh, tentacle imprints, the imprints of the suction cups that were massive. That would have indicated like an enormous octopus. Oh yeah, they were definitely taking down ships. So they think it was real. Yeah. They think at one point in time there really were massive we're octopus. Smart enough to. What do is it. that a uh, fossil? The, the fossilized version of the kraken. So they found these fossils of the the suction cups on the bottom of the ocean floor, <clears throat> and they were like, "What?"